when I'm elected mayor of the city of Calgary, this behavior and culture at City Hall will change. Full stop. We could take questions now. So a lot of people do want the BRT line, so the West BRT line. Do you worry then, you said that you know, you're taking a stance on the side against it. Do you worry about alienating the voters who, who in fact want it? Well, I think we have to go back and see, look at the process that City Hall has gone through. This was a decision that was made 10 years ago with City Hall based on a budget at that point in time. Let's say you were going to renovate your kitchen and you were going to try to use the same budget you had 10 years ago and do the same stuff. It makes no sense. This whole thing has to be revisited. There's no common sense here. 65 to 100 million dollars in cost for what? The marginal gains in, in ridership. Where do you see the decade ago, this, this idea that the information comes from a decade ago? I'm seeing functional plan from 2011. This, this project was approved in 2007. And then the functional planning, though, as it's being discussed, is from 2011. So it's then, not we're, quite a decade. then we're talking six and a half years ago, right? It's still a long time. Still a long time. <laughs> if you're only one vote on the vote choosing this, how do you convince your other colleagues that you do make it for yourself? Well, it's a thing we call collaborative leadership, something that is missing at City Hall right now. It's an opportunity when I become mayor to sit down with each of the councillors and discuss the, uh, the issues that are relevant to their wards and work with them collaboratively rather than trying to do whatever they do in camera 25% of the time and, and then come out and have some sort of random decisions. It's about building relationships amongst councillors right, and setting city priorities with them. Now, Doug mentioned a uh, decline in ridership on, on public transit, but isn't that a, a product of the economy right now in Calgary? And isn't that economy um, the right time to be building uh, projects like this, where the costs are down and uh, you know, well, building towards the future? I, I don't think the costs are down on this project. And yes, I believe infra wise infrastructure spending is important in a down economy, but I don't think that this is wise infrastructure spending at this point. You know, we'll work with uh, we'll work with Calgary Transit to look at alternatives. So, if you're like the mayor, like you said, uh, you might be in favor of looking at half half year bike lanes and stuff like that, and then uh, spiking this project. So, how are you going to represent people that don't have a lot of wealth or might not have access to a car or multiple vehicles? Well, I, I'm a strong supporter of public transit, and I have said, suggested, that if we're going to build more bike lanes, we need to take into account that we are a winter city, and think about how we design them going forward. And I think that just, uh, I think that we've been, uh, we've been lacking the discussion around sharing the road uh, on certain parts of the bike lane issue. And it's not, it is not to, to say that, that there wouldn't be transit available to uh, the people of this southwest uh, Calgary. There's lots of uh, place, time uh, for the people to catch the buses that are available and they're running mostly empty right now. And Bill, you mentioned uh, it may have to be delayed until after the green road is complete, but ready to engage seems to be of the opinion that it has to be delayed until after the green road is completed and then reassess the need for it then. But you seem to be at odds somewhat with the colleague here. Well, I'm not sure that we were at odds. No, we're not at odds. Well, you did say it may be delayed. Until, I mean, well, what we want is, well, is the ring road completed so so it can be impacted. the impact of the ring road can be felt on 14th street yeah, I was and, just, and i'm saying it may be and 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 that's because i don't have all of the data in my on my desk right now right so i'll need to, to be able to go through that and talk to all the people and figure out how that's going to happen so for me to say absolutely not but it, it seems to make sense to wait until that happens so um you've hired uh, ready to engage as former media person, Rick Donkers, is now your media person. Uh, you've got another key architect ready to engage uh, working on your campaign. Uh, what are we to make of that, that uh, people who were working on ready to engage are now on your campaign? Well, I've been very fortunate that I've had a lot of people step up to come and help me on my campaign from all walks of life and from all ends of the spectrum and all socioeconomic uh, groups. So uh, to say that uh, that's Part of what's going on here, I think, is your assumption is incorrect. I just these are these are all good people I've got working for me, and I'm very fortunate to have them. Sorry, what assumption? Is 
Well, well that because I have people that are working on my campaign from the from the uh, BRT group that in some way there's a connection there. There's not. This is a fraud. This is an issue that it means a lot to the citizens of Calgary. But are you worried about being so closely identified seeing, with? Yeah, you're, like the the past forums have well, been ugly. We've had I'm, these. I'm happy to support these people because I believe they have been treated like many people. Like the people at Midfield Park have been treated callously. Like our NMAX bill people have been treated callously. We need to change the culture at City Hall. That's what we have to do. And this is just one component of that. If not, thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, no, I got one okay. Uh, have you, uh, are you going to be releasing your campaign contributors list before the election? Especially when you're speaking about transparency. And in this press release for this event, you say Nenshi is not transparent. Well, transparency is following the rules. And this has just been a spin by Nenshi in the last week to distract from his egregious record of being a mayor in the last seven years. Let's let him stand on his record for the last seven years and let's let him talk about why 25% of council meetings are held in camera. Let's talk about transparency from him first. But, but you're, running, you're running for mayor. Question was, what, are you going to release the list? No. No, we're following the rules to a T. The rules are made up. He had seven years of being in the mayor of the city to help influence these rules. And now all of a sudden, Mr. Lack of Transparency is saying that I'm doing something wrong. It's his standard trying to slander everybody that's opposed to him. Yeah.